everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a quick look at the 1989 Battle Force 2000 Pulverizer tank. And this is a Battle Force 2000 vehicle. Uh, it was not part of the first wave of Battle Force 2000 vehicles, so it does not fit with the future Fortress. It didn't have that gimmick. But as you can see, it is in Battle Force 2000 colors. It's got the metallic gray, green, and blue. Uh, but uh, this is not ready for review. This is missing some pieces. That's why you will not see it uh, for this year's Battle Force 2000 month. It's not quite ready. It is missing some stabilizer arms that connect the turret to the main body of the tank. Those are missing, and without those, it doesn't really work the way that it should because it has uh, a really interesting feature. It will, this cannon will elevate, um, it'll actually extend and telescope out with this popping plastic piece here uh, that is constructed a little bit like a, uh, a bendy straw. Uh, and it's kind of cool, uh, but without those stabilizers, it just kind of flops around. It's a bobblehead. It just, it, that's just doesn't work at all. Um, this, it may be amusing and funny, but it's not very effective as a weapon of war. So until I get those stabilizers, it's just not quite ready to go. We'll uh, get her ready at some point, uh, but I thought you might like to see a quick look at the 1989 Pulverizer tank for Battle Force 2000. Uh, we'll see you uh, with another full Battle Force 2000 review uh, on the weekend, but uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. You had a few too many drinks, pulverizer. What do you what do you have to say for yourself? I'll never drink again. Blah.